But the idea behind this shoot was we wanted to take our subject onto the streets of New York to showcase the versatility of these two systems, Fuji and Profoto, together under some rather unique uh, situations. So what we've done is we've taken the B10 and the B10 Plus onto the streets in conjunction with the GFX100 to put both of them to their paces. So over the course of the day, we actually shot at a series of locations. Uh, we started at the post office in New York City. Uh, we moved down the street to another back alley. We shot in the back of a cab. We then moved a little bit further south. We shot in Washington Square Park at the front of a subway station. And finally, we ended the day on a rooftop that overlooked the city. If you've got any instances where you've got someone jumping through the air or running or walking or just not sitting still, the ability to bring in high-speed sync is insanely useful. So I was shooting wide open on this. I was shooting at f2.8 to give me uh, as much separation between the subject and the background as possible, which I needed considering the, uh, the wide focal length of the lens at 45 millimeter. Uh, then I was shooting at about one two thousandth of a second to freeze the motion. So in the shot with the birds on the steps of the post office, um, we wanted to kind of gear it around um, this guy coming down the steps. It looks um, very polished, very cinematic, but I wanted that moving element, that extra little sense of, uh, of, of kind of pizzazz in the shot. And so I had this idea to bring in the moving element of the birds. And I thought that'd be a really good showcase for the high-speed sync system so that we could freeze the motion and get that really shallow depth of field and create something that almost felt like a film still. Following the shoot, I bring the images into a Capture One session. Uh, this allows me to cull through the images, edit them, develop them as I need to, make some changes, build my select. Uh, I'll go through, I'll mark them up, I'll narrow them down to what they need to be. Once I have the selects made, I'll go through, I'll do some color correction, some slight color grading. Um, basically, give them a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a punch. Most of the look of my images comes from the way they are developed, not really anything that happens in Photoshop. Once I have that decided, I bring it into Photoshop, then the retouching begins. We all appreciate uh, an image that is well received, but at the end of the day, I think it's also important that you create work that you like and we often put way too much emphasis on how other people view our images. I think if you can set out to create work that fulfills you personally, I think you're gonna be a lot happier overall. 